Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be using trial division to find all the factors of a number. So trial division is normally used for integer factorization or to figure out if a number is prime or not. So what we're going to be using is the ability to find the lower bound of numbers that we can use to actually figure out a number is prime or not to figure out all of the factors for that given number. And so the lower bound for finding if a number is prime or not is going no farther than the square root of that number, right? However, when you're finding factors of a number, you have to make sure that that number is either negative or positive. Depending if it's negative or positive, then the range of factors are going to differ because Negative numbers have both positive and negative factors, and positive numbers only have positive factors. So let's go ahead and actually solve this problem. So what I've created so far is a Dart file, right? And I've called it validfactors.dart. So what I'm going to do here is switch into presentation mode. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right. So the first thing that we need to do is actually import the Dart core. And let's just do the math first. And then we need to also import uh, Dart and core. All right. There we go. So now that we have these two, what I'm going to do is section out the functions where we have one that will produce all the factors for a negative number, and then one that has the factors for a positive number, and then we're going to write a fact another function that's going to go ahead and merge these two together. So we're going to start with factors. If I can spell that right. So we're going to do factors of negative number and what we're going to do is take in the number that we want to work with we're going to call this value all right so the first thing we want to do is keep a set of the factors that we find so it's going to equal to set and this is going to hold integers so here we're going to have a container to hold factors of a number and this is going to be a set next what we want to do is we want to keep track of the sign of the number right so if the number is negative then we know that some of the factors are going to be negative and some are going to be positive right so we're going to need a variable to hold the sign we can use just one it doesn't really matter but it's cleaner if you just put it this way so it's easier to modify if you wanted to change this later on just programming rules next what we want to do is we want to get that square root limit and i'm going to call this limit and this is going to equal to the square root all right of the value but remember that the value is actually negative in this case so what we need to do is take the absolute value because you can get the square root of a negative number and then we're going to convert that to int so here we so we get the limit of factor of lower bound factors that's the right way so what we want to do next is create a loop to go over um, the lower bound factors so I'm going to call this var and divisors so is going to start from one and divisors is going to go on to or equal to the limit and we're going to do divisors plus plus so once I'm done with this, I'm actually going to go ahead and do a live example so uh, you guys can understand what's going on with the code. 
So what we're gonna do is gonna say if right the value mod the divisor is equal equal to zero. That means that we found a number that even the that number even the divides to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that factors dot add. Now I want to do want to add the divisor. Then next what we want to do is we want to multiply that by the sign. So we're going to say divisor times sign, right? To get the negative number. Then to get the upper bound um, factor, what we're going to do is we're going to say number or value, right? Divided by the divisor. So this sign right here, what it does is that it gives an int instead of a double, right? And then what we want to do is get the negative of that as well. So you're gonna do value divided by divisor, and then we're gonna times the sign, all right? And we're pretty much done with the first part. All you have to do is return the set of factors. So here we're getting the positive factors. And here we're getting the negative factors. And this applies to the um, third and the fourth. All right. Oh, can I just copy? All right. All right. So here we just uh, return set of factors. The reason why we're using sets is because with this algorithm, you can run into duplicates. And so with sets, that's gonna automatically take care of the duplicates for us. So now what we wanna do is we wanna build the factors of positive uh, number, all right? And we're gonna do the same thing, taking the value, all right? And this time, what we're going to do is we're still going to have the factor set. All right, so we're going to have the factor set and we don't need the sign anymore. We just need um, the limit. So we're going to do final limit. It's going to equal to the square root of the value. All right, and then to end. So now all we can do is just copy this here because we just, it's still the same thing. So we have to go over the possible factors. And then we still need that if statement. We're gonna say if uh, value mod divisor is equal, equal to zero, all right? Then this time we only care about the positive. So we're gonna say uh, factors dot add a divisor and a factor dot add and then we need the value divided by the divisor and then all we need to do is return the factors and I'm just gonna go ahead here and copy the comments and apply it over here as well. All right, so here we get the limit. All right, so we get the positive factors. And here um, still gets the, um, the positive factors. All right, and then return the set of factors. Okay, so now that we've gotten this, all we need to do is we need to go ahead and 
tie it together, right? So what I'm gonna do is create one more function. I'm gonna take an int and the value, all right? So you're gonna say return, right? And then we'll say value that is negative. And it's, if it's negative, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say factors, we're gonna return the factors of negative number, all right, value. Or we're going to return the uh, factors of positive number and pass in value, all right? So now that we have this, we can just go ahead and um, this ties things together right so this is like a cool interface to bridge things now we can go ahead and create main and uh, we can create uh, have a print here and just type in um, factors now we can pass in some number here like 12 so this is going to be an on order set okay so let me just run this real quick and you can see that we do get all the factors for 12, right? But this is an unordered set. So what I'm gonna do now is take the next maybe three minutes to kind of explain um, how this, this algorithm works, okay? And what I'm gonna do here is, uh, let, me use, um, let me use 16 for a second. All right, because it's probably easier to use 16 here. All right, so I'm gonna create a comment. All right, I think this should be fine. All right, so I'm going to create a comment here. So we have 16 as our number, right? Then we're going to apply the square root to it, and that's going to speed out 4. Now, what we want to do is we want to loop from 1 to four inclusive. All right, so what we're gonna do is we check, we say is for the first run of the loop, we're gonna check this is 16 mod one equal, equal to zero. So the answer is yes. So what we're gonna do is we have our set called S, I'm just gonna call this S. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add one and 16 divided by one, which is going to equal to 16. So now we're going to have 16 and one in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave 16 in there, All right? So that's going to be the first run. Next, we're going to go in, we're going to say 16 mod two equal, equal to zero. So the answer is yes. So we already have our set already with one and 16. So now we're gonna add two, and then we're gonna add 16 divided by two, right? Which is gonna equal to eight. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and erase all of this. So now we're gonna have one, 16, two, and eight in our set, okay? So we have that now. Next we go, we say 16 um, mod three equal, equal to zero. Well, the answer is no. So we're gonna have our set the way we have it. So we're gonna have one, 16, two, and eight. So now we add four, which is the last one and we're gonna say is 16 mod four equal equal to zero. The answer is yes. So we're gonna, we already have our set here. We're gonna have one, 16, two, eight, right? And then we're gonna add in four. And now we wanna add in, we need to add in 16, right? Divided by 
4. Well, 16 divided by 4 is actually 4. And see, that's the reason why we had to apply a set to this because eventually you reach a point where one of the divisors uh, or factors of that number um, produces that number again. And it's kind of weird to have a for loop that kind of checks for that all the time. So um, I decided it was better to just use a set for it. So since sets take care of duplicates, uh, all it's going to do is say, well, four is already in here. We already have um, a hash code, right? Or a key for four. So we're not going to use four again. So what we're going to do is we're going to end with this solution here, right? And then uh, eventually we just return S and S is going to be one. 16, 2, 8, and 4. And you guys can see here that um, the pattern here uh, actually matches what we currently have. All right, guys, this will be it for this tutorial. I hope you guys actually enjoyed it. Oh, one more thing. Let me actually go ahead and run the negative part here. I didn't do that here. Um, if I run that, you can see that all we do is just have the numbers duplicated. So we have positive one as a factor for 16 and negative one as a factor for 16, right? So we just duplicate the numbers all over again. All right, guys. Um, if you guys like the tutorial, please give me a like and thumb up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. Have a good night. Bye-bye.